Now, who can learn SAP FICO? Okay, that is another important question. Freshers with a commerce background. Now, the commerce background, we are highlighting it here because what we will be talking here is a, is a credit debit entries, is a assets, it's a depreciation, right? So all, all this part is you need to know the basics of it. So as an education comes into picture, MBA finance students or the commerce background who are doing the bachelor's in the commerce or the master in the commerce, they are aware of all this financial terminology and the basic principle of finance, the T accounting, general ledger accounting, they already know it, credits, when the credit need to happen, when the debit need to happen, what kind of accounts need to hit, in what business scenarios, they know that. So that business knowledge and that terminology knowledge and that mindset is required to learn SAP. So if you are fresher with the with the commerce background, you can go ahead and learn SAP FICO. If you are MBA student with finance as a substream, I would say learning SAP FICO is mandatory for you. Learning SAP FICO is a mandatory for you because generally MBA students from the good B schools goes into the Fortune 500 companies and then you cannot stay away from SAP. Any place the SAP will come to you, they have implemented SAP, you need to work on SAP, you need to get reports from SAP. So always SAP knowledge, SAP FICO knowledge is uh, uh, preferred to have it uh, for the MBA students. So if you're an MBA student with the finance upstream, you must learn SAP FICO. If you are an experienced finance professional, you're working as an end user in SAP FICO, or you're not working in SAP, you are just working as an accountant, you are working as an accounts playable clerk, uh, uh, you are using tele, you are not using SAP, you are using any other software, you are doing account receivable work, you are, you are maintaining the general ledgers, general ledger accountings, you are doing it, right? That kind of operational work, if you are doing it, then you can learn SAP because of your operational work, you already have a knowledge of finance, you can learn SAP FICO and try to become SAP FICO consultant. We also get a lot of students from the other modules, MM, SD, PP and different module people come and they learn FICO. Why? Because they want to cross train. Because FICO is a stream which get connected with all the modules. There can be any one module in SAP. You can take it out. It might not be linked with any XYZ another module. But by sure, by default, it would be connecting with FICO. Because of FICO is having a strong integration with SD, MM, PP, and all other modules, many people get cross-trained themselves so that they also know a little bit more on FICO part, so that whenever the discussion comes, the cross-integration discussion comes, whenever they are going for the role of a solution architect, they know a little bit of finance knowledge so that they would be able to handle those discussions and they would be able to lead those meetings, right? So if you are a consultant in the other modules, FICO is a very good module to cross-train yourself. 